Mazza, Peter, thanks a lot for coming to this England get together. Cheers, Eddie. boss. Yeah, cheers, boss. Now, um. <laughs> Now, as you all know, we've got uh, no games. We've got no games. <laughs> you see, with the ball, I'm good. With the door, <laughs> I'm, I'm shit. Yeah. <laughs> as you know, we've got no games this summer. I personally would have preferred it if we'd had to be in the qualified rounds for the European Championship. Well, yeah, yeah, but then we'd have had uh, no games next summer. <laughs> you see, we wouldn't have qualified. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Matthew. <laughs> now, uh, these get-togethers are... They're very, very important, and, um, no, don't sit there. You know I only like one man up front. <laughs> I, I hate him. <laughs> he, he don't pick you, but he pick on you. <laughs> now, as you can see, as we all know, players have got commitments. There's a few empty seats. Yeah, hey, it, it looks a bit like the Uruguay game. <laughs> Cause Look, if no you don't like it, why don't you play for bloody Guernsey? <laughs> hey? These get-togethers are a very important part of my overall team-building process. So? What do we do now, boss? <laughs> um... What about getting a nice game of pontoon? Is that, is that like, um, is that like Gambit with Fred Dynage and Michelle Lambour? <laughs> I like Buckaroo! <laughs> Snap! Oh, heck, I thought it was me knee gone again. <laughs> 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 Are you bloody throwing gas off? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're not here to play stupid games. You'll be bringing your Barbie dolls in next. No offence, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are, you know, what we're trying to do here, we're trying to organise ourselves into a well-disciplined, super-efficient machine. What about a game of I Spy, then? <laughs> oh, right, then, I'll stop. <laughs> I spy with my little eye... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gary Mubbutch! <laughs> No, Peter, I haven't started yet. Something beginning with T. Boss, boss, boss. Manager. T. Uh, uh, table. T. No. Trainer. Close, guys. I'm very close. Boss, 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 boss. Manager. T. T. Is it, is it tactics that are going to lose us the European Championship? <laughs> Out. Go on. <laughs> get out. Oh, get I was, I was out, just joking. No. I, I got, out. I wanted a sort of free roll. Get out. <laughs> I won't have players in here who can't keep their mouth shut. Oh, eh? <laughs> no, Peter, I didn't mean players who can't keep their mouth shut. <laughs> I just meant, you know... <laughs> you know, talking. I just, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you've got a bit new beginnings and, and a change and that. You're just the same as Graham Taylor. Oh, don't talk stupid. God, do I not like Matt? <laughs> Welcome to Fantasy Football League. This week we'll be recreating a magic moment from USA 94. And we'll be saying a big hello to Tom Webster's son. Hello, I'm Tom Webster Jr. Hello! hello. It, it is, it's really, it's it really is him. It's really him, yeah. You're not well, are you, Dave? No, I've got um, swollen glands. Yeah. Your, your glands must have been swollen from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> You I, know. I can't see a gland in front of me face nowadays. <laughs> there he is, though. He's always, always, pe always pouchy. Terrible fat neck. <laughs> but you're going to battle on, and that's very no, professional drinking, of you. Drinking Lucozade. I don't think you can thing. say that, Ken. Isn't that an advert? It's not an advert, is it? It's not well, actually it's not an as advert. good as a proper advert. No. With Super 8, scratchy film, and yeah. Eric Cantona saying, not a Frenchman. But it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I drink Lucozade will be rubbish, obviously. Yeah. Anyway. Let's get on, shall we? Oh, right. So I'm just making excuses in case Dad's shit this week. Yeah. <laughs> but first... <laughs> <laughs> but first, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. Despite having lost some weight during his long layoff, it was good to see David Batty back in action at Ewood Park. <laughs> Still 
got into a fight though, didn't he? Straight away. That's probably his glands, gone mm. the other way. Mm. And staying with Blackburn, Tim Sherwood has begun speaking openly about his Madonna memorabilia collection. <laughs> <laughs> He's better to get it out in the open, mm. I always think. And Gordon Strachan was so exhausted after his game on Saturday that he vowed he would spend the rest of the season watching from the stand. There he is. <laughs> He's happier there, isn't yeah, he? You I consider. Think he is, yeah. And to add to Norwich's current problems, fans have complained that the Carrow Road executive boxes are not up to scratch. <laughs> <laughs> and further criticism this week of continental goalkeepers who would rather punch than gather the ball cleanly. <laughs> time for my news round. Last week I told you that any of our top seven managers could still win the BBC Two Fantasy League title and it's been all changed once again this week. Patsy is toppled from a lofty perch by Nick Hornby. Frank stays third while Parker moves steadily up to fourth. A Tony Yaboa strike aided Nick Hornby's meteoric rise and when midfielders like Maurizio Gardino hit the back of the net, you know you're on for a good week. No one has done more for my flatmate Frank than Jurgen Klinsmann. Another brilliant goal against Palace and another three points for the West Brom Wagster. Yes, my lady, Parker's in love. Not with you, but with Coventry's Zimbabwe International, who scored three of Parker's weekly total of 26 points. Tonight's guest, Sean Bean, is hovering just above the drop zone. This penalty from defender Keith Curl, his only goal of the week, which has been his problem all season. While Damon and Phil continue to struggle at the bottom, David won't be relegated. One thing's for sure, there will definitely be a new name on the Golden Stats this year. Anyway, thanks. thank you very much, Tata. That was very marvellous. <laughs> anyway, look, summer is almost upon us, and once again we hear people asking that age-old question. Whatever happened to Lenny Bennett? Mm. <laughs> it did happen to him. He was marvellous, wasn't he? Yeah, he I loved him. Lenny and Jerry show. That was great. Punchlines is very good on yeah, that. Yeah, it was fantastic. Well, we can tell you what happened. Of course, he met Leeds United manager Howard Wilkinson. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and together they created a whole new identity for Lenny called Gary McAllister. Fooled <laughs> everyone. Um, we get, you know, we get sent a lot of stuff for people saying that they've spotted all sorts of people in all sorts of places. Andy and Sue Parler from Clacton. Are they related to Ray Parler? It's actually oh. Ray Parler's cousin is Andy Parler. That's true. All right. Well, anyway, searching their attic, what they came across was this photo. They were looking for, you know, their grandparents or something like that, but they came across this photo of Stato. <laughs> <laughs> So, have, you still got the, have you still got the dress? It's yeah, better now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we get lots of stuff also about people spot Dave lookalikes. They never send any lookalikes in for me, but there seems to be lots of Daves knocking about. And two came in this week, one from uh, A. Smith of Whitley Bay and the other one from uh, the boys at Team Talk. And it's the same picture. They said that this looks like Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the cap on, obviously. Yeah. Right? <laughs> But if you put glasses on that, you watch, it's actually not on. <laughs> and they, yeah. put, they spotted the swollen glands three yeah. or four days before they arrived. Yeah. That's just a fat, ugly bloke, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a star. Yeah. yeah. And all, most of the uh, Dave lookalikes that come in, this is true, are, are Asian blokes in glasses, and nearly mm. always. Yeah, they are. And there's a, an Asian bloke in glasses called Arif, who actually sent himself uh, in and said, there you are, that's a <laughs> friend. <laughs> Look how proud he is, looking like yeah, you. Yeah, it's me at my bar mitzvah. <laughs> We also got a, a letter from Tony Inwald of Gloucester, and he sent us his picture, which he says is Carlton Palmer while he was playing for Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> He's there with the Chelsea attack. <laughs> hey. I'll tell you something, there's one celebrity that... Uh, <laughs> oh, if you're going to get it, get it straight away, I'll show you. There's one celebrity you never see a lookalike. Who's that? So that's where I was. But well, it's always nice to know where you are. 
I don't really feel that Tom really covered that <laughs> test match, <laughs> did he? I wonder if that banner still exists. I quite like that. Yeah, I like Someone that. Someone will write in for it. Is that a doorbell? If the groups like to go back to work. <laughs> no, no, I think you'll find that's the Baron Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I check the door anyway? Check the door. I mean, okay. it could be, you know. Could be kids messing about with the Baron Knight's theme. Mm. <laughs> it's Sean Bean! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely song, Manny. <laughs> you know, I think you're the first manager to shake hands with Stata, so God bless you for that. Yeah. Use the people. sink over there if you worry. <laughs> <laughs> people just ignore him, but that, that was a nice moment, I thought, Stata. Tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a football man, are you? <laughs> So anyway, Sean. welcome, welcome, Sean. Thank to you. Our, to our world. Thank you very much. You've been see you again. You've been very busy recently. Lots of film projects. Yeah, I've uh, been working on James Bond film, Golden Eye. Uh, Golden Eye. It's always Golden, Golden something, isn't it? A Bond film. <laughs> Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Yeah, and uh, you're not the new Bond, are you? No, I'm 006. So All oh, right. <laughs> is he what, not as good? Suppose <laughs> so. <laughs> no, we don't know James. Why are you using next door? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I play 006, and obviously. Pierce Brosnan for his uh, 007 and uh, we sort of go about on special missions together and oh, that right. sort of thing. <laughs> you'd, right. be, you'd have been a good James Bond, wouldn't you? Come on yeah. then. Shake and not stir. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Nay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Feel free. Feel free to have a go. Oh, what say? Are you captured by a villain and then instead of killing you straight out, he puts you in a cell where the walls start to come in slowly and then water starts to fill up and stuff like that? No. 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 <laughs> he just shoots you then. So you have a spot. I can't really tell you, you know, because it gives, gives a story away. Uh, yeah, all right. All right. You've also something, something happens anyway. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> It's always a good thing for a film, I think. So you've also been in a, in a football film recently. Yeah, I did a film called. Uh, it used to be called when uh, Pints of Bitter. It's, it's called When Saturday Comes. You know. so what, yeah. what do you play? Me? I play a footballer that um, you know sort of works his way up from sort of club football, pub teams, and that, and into, and uh, end up playing for uh, Sheffield United. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> God, that must be depressing. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sean. Steaming through the mud. Oh, yes. Oof, get in there. That's when you're playing for Sheffield United, I presume. Mm. Looking good. There's, oh, there's that is Tony, Tony Curry. Curry. <laughs> and Barry Venison. <laughs> hey, Barry Venison. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's enough, probably. Oh, and... yo. <laughs> I must say, Sean. <laughs> When I saw that, I thought they should take the Saturday out of the title and they should uh, put David Baddiel <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> in your contract, Sean, that sort of... It, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, always, you always get to get off in a fantastic woman <laughs> in everything you do. Well, I do, don't I? I get to play <laughs> football, shoot guns and... Uh, it sounds like an absolute, uh, an absolute <laughs> dream come true, play a professional footballer. Oh, it is, I mean, especially... Because strippers, like, often if you do that, they'll slap you right across the face. Apparently. <laughs> Does Pierce Brosnan play Dave Bassett? <laughs> Dave Bassett's not in it. Oh. That's, that's a pity, isn't he? He's, a, he's not in the Bond film. Yeah. <laughs> man, huh? He would have been great, mm. wouldn't he? <laughs> That, you know, the laser yeah, scene. The laser yeah. scene, you'd have gone right up. You wouldn't be able to stop straight up in the middle. <laughs> One big burn. That would have been that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I, want to, no, I want to pull you up on that. You did, me, did that to me last time about uh, Sheffield United playing long ball and all that lot. You think they Every don't? The team that plays it, Manchester United, Liverpool, maybe West Brom or Chelsea, right. they'll say, oh, that's good direct football straight to the man's feet. Every time we do it, we get bollocked for it. Like you're doing it. <laughs> so I just wanted to put you straight on that. I don't know. Right. <laughs> yeah. The difference is that we don't actually have anyone who can get it over the halfway line. 
so it looks like we're playing a close passing game. In fact, the players are kicking it as hard as they can. <laughs> and it just <laughs> off the outside of the foot because it moved at the last minute. Oh, it's supposed right. to be off the toe. <laughs> so, but, uh, God but, bless you. Yeah. There, there is a, I'll tell you, there's a tradition with football films of the, blo the bloke who's the star player, which in this case is, is, is you, of course, but in old films, you always used to get shots of him and he'd run about 850 yards and beat 17 players and then score. Yeah. Look at this. All right. Here he goes. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the goalie. Fifteen players. <laughs> Oh, I've no idea how they got the Norwich defence to act like <laughs> <laughs> that. show his passport four times on that run. He probably would run so far. I like how his head just kept it same level. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look at Sean's team, do you think? All right, then. You bought, you bought Cantona, <laughs> dear. That was well, one. I did, ah, and uh, obviously. You know, I remember you saying last time you was on, you said you was a bit worried about buying Cantona in case he got sent off. I would have. <laughs> always saying that. That's what you said. <laughs> and then he got sent off for about four months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently you, you actually get some points for very good community service. So you should anyone might yet save your season. Keith Curl, I, I think, always, uh, always got the most points. Mm. No, yeah. Let's check that, shall we? Can we see Sean's team? 20. See Sean's team again? Oh, yeah, minus, minus one. Minus yeah. one, yeah, he's, the, <laughs> <laughs> he's actually the worst yeah. player. Well, they teach maths yeah. in Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, there is, I'll tell you something, though. There's one of your players, this will cheer you up. There's one of your players who's actually a member of the very famous Sweets team. You know when you make up players, teams, and things like types of meat and flowers and all that sort of stuff? Have you ever done that at school? I can't say Normally Barry been. Benison gets into the types of meat team. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, one of, the, one of the more obscure teams is the Sweeties team. And there's a player of you, in your team, isn't it? Can you guess which Scott one it is? Minto. You haven't have got, you got Scott, Scott Minto, Minto, have you? No. Well, I ain't got him, I'm just saying. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's a player that's in a your team. Good, a good, it, that's a good guess, though. Actually, I don't think Scott too. Minto's in the street. Let's have a look at the Sweeties team. That'll sort it out. There's there the defence. Look, Peter Bon Bonetti. Yeah. <laughs> Car Caramel Sterling. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Sherbert Dab. <laughs> Warren Milky Barton. And Keith Curly Whirly. Yeah. yeah. That's your man. And so in midfield, we've got... Um, Graham Twix. Yeah. Dennis Chewitt. <laughs> Obviously Dwight Yorkie. Yeah. And up front. Nathan Flake. <laughs> Rodney Mars. And F and a coconut mushroom. Yes. <laughs> Four weeks we spent doing that show. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting around the house just yeah. doing that. Can you believe it? We even got a name for him, look yeah. like that. Jelly Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, is that the doorbell? Let them call up the other groups. We think it's a great idea. You know, on this occasion, I think that actually is the doorbell. Really? Yeah. What, the doorbell is the Baron Knights? For tonight, it is, yeah. Right. So I'll, see, I'll see what it is. Okay. Any guesses? No idea. <coughs> Bit early for Jeff, eh? Yeah. Hey, up, it's Gary McAllister. Oh, Gary! 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 Hello, oh, Gary. Sorry, I'm on a short <laughs> jacket. So Hello, much. Gary. God, the Scottish accent. <laughs> yes. How are you, Gary? Uh, I'm fantastic. Good. And that must have been quite a traumatic thing, uh, being Lenny Benny. What was that like? Uh, it, it was OK. It, uh, the transi... <laughs> <laughs> the transition wasn't all that easy. Uh, now, there is, you know, uh, the precedence for it, of course. Uh, you remember uh, Jim Bowen. He used to do Bullseye. Uh, of course, he's now Billy Jones. Really? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> then, of course, there was, there was Bob Holdness, who was Blockbusters, of course, is now Andy Cole. Hmm. <laughs> really? Mm. Hmm. As if I'd lie. I noticed you wearing your collar up as well. The last bloke who did that at Leeds got in a lot of trouble eventually. <laughs> who? who? Eric. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be attacked in the street by well, people who think you're... It's funny that, when I, when I thought about this week, why are they making him do that community service, like two hours a day, teaching the kids in Manchester how to play football? Because the kids in Manchester know how to play football. <laughs> Why don't they send him to Ipswich or Leicester or something like that? <laughs> they have upset people. Is there any Ipswich fans who want to defend the team? No. no. <laughs> 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 
There's a good brave <laughs> try there, though, mate. <laughs> there was a moment's hesitation, weren't there? You went, nah. Nah. <laughs> Ipswich never had any but defenders. Which, what went wrong, mate, with Ipswich? Didn't they beat West Ham the other day? No, they no. drew. Almost. They drew. They drew. They drew, but there was a point. They went around an open top coach after. Someone told me. <laughs> <laughs> holding, up, holding up a big point. <laughs> Uh, could we get back to me because I dressed sorry. up for this? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Gary. Right, right. Oh, sorry, carry on. You actually, uh, didn't you do some of the early uh, sports gear adverts? Oh, yes. You that were... was, well, it's years ago. Well, it's, let me think, I'd be 23, so that'd be three years ago. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, we got, have we got one of uh, Gary's uh, early Nike works? There you go. <laughs> That's very good. And, uh, yeah. It was all right to smoke a cigar in a sports gear advert. Well, that was actually, at that particular uh, the gathering of the glitterati, that's actually Dave Lee Travis yeah. there. Oh, yes. Who did, did he become? Yeah. Who did he become? He became Barbra Streisand. Right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it was at that... <laughs> it was at that party, strangely enough, that Howard Wilkinson approached me. Yeah, yeah, and of course it all went fantastically for you. Um, you got other contracts. You got an, an Adidas advert after that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I think we should do actually. Um, if you cast your mind back to Stato's news round, I know it was a long time ago. And you were probably making the tea, but cast your mind back, and you may remember that Frank was in. You know, he's, he's in line for the title. What are you third, eh? I'm in pole position. That's yeah. It. So I think we should have a look. At, would say. I think we should have a look at your team. I know we haven't done that so far. Yeah, I'm proud. Proud team. to look at my team. Shall I swap with Sean then? He yeah. can do my job. Okay. Is that all right. Hello here. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Dun, 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 if you could be a bit sort of. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Sean now. So. Yeah. <laughs> where, where is she? <laughs> I'll get Lenny Benny. Yeah, he gets that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice legs, though. Thank you. Yeah. Nothing so else to say, like, anywhere. <laughs> no, that's true. Thank you. You're not, you're not that much like Frank, are you? You could be a bit more sort of black country and a bit grubbier. I think that would do it. If you did this, <laughs> all for all, all this kind of stuff would do it. For a bloke, it's supposed to be ill with a fat neck. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Lenny? It's all right. Just, okay, been, just relax. relax. <laughs> Lenny who? Gary, try and remember, Gary. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Lenny who, wasn't that your catchphrase? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, it was a no. <laughs> Frank, let's have a look at you. Eh? Okay, I'm supposed to be doing that. No, you're not. No, no. It's a Sean, you're it's you're giving it away, Sean. You're giving it away. Yeah, the whole balloon's gone down. Oh, yeah. dear. <laughs> Frank, let's have a look at your team. We have to look at his team, you see. Jürgen Klinsmann was my big money boy. Mm. And, uh, he's a top scorer. He's the top scorer. And what a marvellous player he is. Wonderful player. Yes. And um, see, so we're agreed on that you must have played against him a time or two. Many times. Uh, <laughs> I usually, usually have him in my pocket by the first 20 minutes or so. He's never been a threat. Yeah, to that me. is a dirty habit. Mm. Not yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make him a bad person, of course. Oh, I don't think so. No, no, I think you should explore all sides of your sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's coming in. Sean's in here. Hold it, Sean's off here. You've got Mark Hughes in your team. That's a coincidence, isn't it? Because, Gary, <laughs> when you were... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Go on, keep going, Sean. No, I'm, you, but I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> when you got rid of Lenny, Benny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, Sean? What are you looking at? <laughs> this, this bond film here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frank, when you... <laughs> Come on, give Sean a chance. Come on, Sean. Motor through it, mate. Come on. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> what? Stripper. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, a bit too fast for me, then. Uh, go on. So, Frank. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got Mark Jones in your team. Uh, that's a coincidence, isn't it? Because Gary. <laughs> when you got rid of your Lenny Bennett character, it was yeah. uh, Mark Hughes who bought your hair. <laughs> Mark Hughes bought the hair, that's yes. true. That's true, there he is, with your yeah. hair. <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask one question which is intriguing? Am anyway, I in now, it's yeah. time for two Australian players in Europe. This week, Lektov sticks it up the Germans. Who? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you're done. We're here to recreate your goal for Bulgaria against Germany in the uh, US 94. US? What's the last? 
You remember US 94. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you must remember the game against Germany. There was all that stuff about the fact that your goalie wore a wig. I mean, any guy who qualifies with a bald head but appears, well, that's just to prove that it is the self same guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look ridiculous. Still, it's better than being completely. Bu uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you remember about that game? No, that's why I had a good spiel, and that can be catastrophic. And we could be up around the 90 degrees now. Here's Berthold, and here's Klinsmann for Germany. Berthold again, and a penalty is given. Well, Lechkoff is the player. He made the challenge, and I think he feels hard done by. Man, Klinsmann, do get it all for Tauschstation. Can you smell it on my breath? <laughs> anyway, I don't care. I'm off to Tottenham Hotspur. To my Tottenham. No, no, Tottenham. They've always had great strikers. Uh, Martin Chivers, Jimmy Greaves, Alan Gilzean. There. You must remember Alan Gilzean. People would laugh at him because he was completely bo... <laughs> Mikhailov. You remember Alan Gilzean, yeah? He should have won a... And then had Sojko Falsgai gemacht. Um zehn Minuten, ungefähr zehn Minuten später. Das war ein großer Zufall. Es gibt so viele Fälle auf dieser Welt. Da habe ich das zweite Tor geschossen. Oh, look at this! They're in front! A brilliant header by Lechkov! Right then, let's do that. Okay, so who passed it to you? Jankov. Jankov. That better be you, Frank. <laughs> um, uh, I'll be the German goalie, Bodo Ilgner, and uh, Ilgner, not Ilgner Ogden. That funktioniert nicht so ganz. Yeah, and uh, you be Jordan Lechkov. Spiele a big bollocks. Lechkov, yes. Egal, das war für uns eine tolle Weltmeisterschaft und danach haben wir nach Bulgarien gefahren und zu gefahren. Bulgaria must have been very proud of you. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, yeah no thanks problem. to uh, Gary McAllister. My yeah. great pleasure. Turning up. And great thanks pleasure. to Sean. Thank you. Next week's guests are Rod, Jane and Freddie. Who? <laughs> 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 oh, I've oh, no idea. Could be the Baron Knight, I suppose. Yeah, could be. Oh, it's Uncle Bob here. <laughs> Hello, David. Since the great West Bromwich Albion striker is underneath this lot, do you fancy uh, Bulgaria's chances for the European? Well, they've had a chance. Mm. Jeff Astle. <laughs> 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 I'm walking these streets so long, singing the same old song. I know every crack in these dirty sidewalks of Broadway Where hustle's the name of the game Nice guys get washed away like the snow and the rain There'll be a load of compromising On the road to my horizon and I'm gonna be where the lights are shining on me Like a rhinestone cowboy Riding out